In this video, I'm going to be sharing my butternut squash soup recipe. It's great for the winter weather to keep you warm and contains a lot of my favorite vegetables. So, if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Charles. Welcome to my channel and let's get cooking. So, these are the ingredients we're going to be using for our soup today. I'm going to list them in the description below. For quick reference. So take your squash and make insertions with a sharp knife all around and microwave for seven minutes so it's easy to cut through. So while the squash has been microwaved, go ahead and prepare all your vegetables. Peel your garlic, your onions, the shallot, and then we're also gonna get our bell peppers ready by deseeding them. So chop the head up, slice in the middle, and take out the seeds. Once we're done with that, we'll go ahead and rinse all our vegetables out and chop them up in big chunks. Don't worry too much about the shape or the size being equal. Just go ahead and chop, chop, chop. Once we chop all our vegetables, we'll put that aside and our squash should be ready right now. So let your squash cool down for a little bit. Take the ends off and cut it right there in the middle. Take the seeds out. When you peel it up, take all the skin off and chop it in big chunks. So our squash is all chopped up, as well as our vegetables. We're ready to start cooking. So get a, a big pot, put about two tablespoons of avocado oil in there, throw in your vegetables. Look at that, that's so beautiful. I love how vegetables have like beautiful colors and the aroma as well. The mixture of all of that is great. Add half teaspoon of black pepper. Add one teaspoon of sea salt. Add half teaspoon of paprika. And just stir that together. At this point, you can begin to smell the deliciousness. <laughs> I love vegetables, guys. So once that's cooked for a little bit, we're gonna add Peppercorn seeds, about four of them, four or five. We're gonna also get some parsley. I have about three stems here. Just take the leaves out and throw it in there. A bay leaf, you can use dry or fresh. I had dry at home, so I used that. Stir that around. Mm, smells good. Also gonna add some thyme. I think I have about six stems here. Pull it from the top, roll down, get all those leaves in there. Add your squash. Mix it up, mix it up. And you're going to add four cups of chicken broth. If you're going veggie, you can use vegetables broth here as well. 
So I add about four cups of that. We need a lot of liquid to get these vegetables and squash cooking. I also added about one cup of water just because in the beginning I want to be a little cautious of salt. So I use four cups of broth and one cup of water. Let that boil until your squash is tender. Make sure it's quite tender so we can get a good blend out of it. Turn the heat off and let that cool for a little bit. Now it's time to blend. Make sure you take out the bay leaf before you blend. I did this in about three batches. Because we want to get the best consistency. Make sure it's smooth. So pour the first batch out and I taste it just because I want to kind of have an idea of what I'm going to do to it once I'm done blending. Just in case I need to add something. It's tasting yummy y'all. It tastes good and it's smooth just the way we want. Look at that mushroom. All the veggie goodness going in here. By the way, you can eat the soup like this too, in chunks, if you don't care about the blending. But here we're going to blend. Mm. So get your pot again, put about 2 tablespoons of butter, this is optional, you don't have to because it's yummy already. Pour your soup back in the pot. Stare, stare, stare. Just taste it. Is it thick enough? Is it too thick for you? Is the salt enough? At this point I added about half a cup more of, of chicken broth in here. And it's the right consistency that I want. It's not too thick, it's not too light, just perfect. So it's ready, y'all. Now you can top this with whatever you want. I'm gonna top this with some shrimp. I have some raw shrimp here, with the tail on, seasoned with garlic, paprika, and salt. Pretty standard. Mix, mix. Just try to blacken that on both sides. And our protein topping is ready. Serve your soup hot. I put some avocado, some cheese, and a little parsley on there just for <laughs> fanciness. It's beautiful, it's healthy. It's nutritious. It's absolutely yummy. What else could we ask for? This is my recipe for butternut squash. I hope you enjoyed watching that. Please try the recipe, subscribe to my channel, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Until next time, see you later.